Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spiritual Generation 11. I hope you've been taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving others, learning new knowledge, and teaching new knowledge. All right, y'all. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to sell your soul or how people sell their soul and what happens to them and what will happen to you. Okay? All right, yo. So, we know a lot of celebrities didn't get as famous as they are without paying a price. And their price is their soul, okay? Now, sometimes people just don't have enough patience to wait for success. So, they sacrifice everything that they have. And what I mean by everything that they have is their soul, okay? Having a whole bunch of money, cars, clothes, all that stuff. That's not really yours, because you can't take it with you whenever you leave here. You know that, right? Okay. Well, one thing is, is that when you sell your soul, you become dead inside. Okay, me personally, whenever I look at some of these celebrities, I look them dead in their eye, and it looks empty as shit, yo. Okay? And it's really sad, okay? And a lot of people do not know that the people... That they look up to are soulless people. Okay? And then, meanwhile, while we're over here jamming their music like, uh, yeah, and they sound all happy and turned up, they're dying inside and they're dying very slowly. Okay? I always want you guys to know your soul is worth more than gold, okay? Never sell your soul, no matter how hard it gets. Alright? Now, whenever people sell their soul, that doesn't necessarily mean you always have to do satanic or evil type of rituals a lot of people settle for less they sell their talent for a million dollar check and it could sound tempting at times especially when you don't have nothing you know a lot of rap stars who came up in the hood or struggled the majority of the time of their life they'll sign for almost anything and these big multi-million dollar record labels are the ones who are evil and wicked as shit so they'll offer you one million dollar, two million dollar, three million dollar check. Whenever you're priceless, your gift is worth more than a few million dollars. Okay? Now, at the beginning, it may seem good, right? But, like I said, it comes with a price. And you will have to give up something more than just your soul. They will try to take out your family members. They'll try to take out your close friends. They will even take your kids away from you. And what I mean by take your kids away from you. Gone. Okay. And. A lot of celebrities. Have to. Sacrifice their firstborn male. Okay. That's one of the things that. Could happen or does happen. So. If you ever hear about any celebrity who their lady had a miscarriage or something, or you see them only having females, baby girls, you can already guess what happened to the baby boy. Okay, now, whenever people do sell their soul, there is certain demons that possess them, that give them that power, the energy, all of that stuff that they have to be the person that they are. They are no longer themselves. They are no longer in control of their own soul. Okay? Now, it could be more than one demon possessing a person at a time. For example, now, I do like certain celebrities, and I know that their soul is gone. Okay? But I listen to the music for what it is, and I never let them influence me to not be myself or to sell my soul. That's for sure. Okay? Alright, there is a couple of demons I'm, maybe you guys have heard of. Okay, there is a male demon that goes by the name of Rain Man, okay? And a couple rappers, Jay-Z and Eminem, have mentioned that in multiple songs that they have, okay? Now, Rain Man is a demon that possesses and gives power to a lot of the male rappers, okay? And Eminem has a song called Rain Man, and... It goes, I ain't got no legs or no brain. 
Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is... I forgot my name. My name was not to be mentioned what I became within this rap game. My soul is possessed by this devil. My new name is Rain Man. Okay. And in that lyric, he's pretty much talking about the Rain Man demon that is inside of him. If he ain't talking about the Rain Man demon, it's the Rain Man demon speaking through Eminem's voice. Now, I would say I'm an Eminem fan, but you know, his also ego, some shady's wicked ego as shit, yo. So, another rapper, the worst of them damn all, Jay-Z. First of all, he named his record label after William D. Rockefeller, a known Mason, okay? He sold out a long time ago. If you know about um, the rapper named Nas, he has a song called Ether. Bruh, he slaughtered him on that song. And he mentioned, you sold your soul, you know? You used to be my brother, but you sold your soul. And he also mentions Rain Man in a few of his songs, okay? So, another known um, demon that comes, and his woman, Beyonce. Now, I'm from Houston. Beyonce comes from Houston. You know what's up to her, but sorry, baby girl, you soulless. And I feel Jay-Z turned you out. You would have done so much better without going with that damn demonic devil-ass person, okay? Now, she mentioned in multiple interviews that whenever she's getting on stage, it's like a different person takes control of her. Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce is her alter ego or also known as the demon that comes inside of her. Whenever these celebrities get on stage, you know how the whole crowd goes wild. <laughs> oh my, it's like they're about to have a freaking heart attack, right? The reason why they're acting so obnoxious is because of the power of the demon that they're in the presence of. Yep, that demon that's inside these celebrities is what makes people give up everything, get emotional, Feel some type of way, get angry. Yeah, there's some demons that's making you feel that way. So when you're at a concert next time, and you know that that celebrity is hot and popping, and it's something else going on, okay? So y'all, just a little bit about how people sell their soul. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all ain't about to sell y'all soul. I know for a fact y'all ain't about to sell y'all soul. Your soul is worth more than gold, King. Your soul is worth more than gold, Queen. You know what it is, all right? So. I hope you guys have a great day today. Stay solid. Stay safe. Stay focused. Okay. Peace. Love. Namaste.